Hey everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Sid, I'm a first year computer science major at Georgia Tech and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how people get mad at computer science degrees for not adequately preparing software engineers to be software engineers in the industry and why the blame should be shifted from the actual institutions to the industry as a whole and why the blame really shouldn't exist in the first place. So let's get straight into it. This is going to be unscripted, very off the cuff and very quick. So let's just finish this. First of all, just by the name of the computer science degree, it is computer science and not software engineering, and software engineering majors do exist at a lot of different colleges. Computer science degrees are meant to create computer scientists, and along the way they should teach many practical skills that would be useful for a software developer to know. Computer science degrees often include, you know, more math heavy classes like data structures and algorithms, obviously higher level math classes like multivariable calculus and linear algebra, as well as, you know, discrete math, and a lot of other things that honestly, uh, being a great software engineer does not require you to know. You don't need to know linear algebra or multivariable calculus to make a great piece of functioning software. But regardless, you learn it in a computer science degree anyways. And as a result, a lot of people on the internet and just in general, you know, you'll find yourself as a CS major thinking about this like, dang, do I really have to take this class to become a great programmer? And the answer is no. Unless it's a coding class, you don't have to take the class to become a great programmer. But if you want to be a great computer scientist who's doing a lot of math, then those skills are helpful. Learning problem solving and logic through discrete math and other higher level math classes is something that's very important. And it won't just help somebody that's being a computer scientist. It'll also obviously help a computer scientist. It'll also obviously help a software engineer rather when they're doing their daily work and doing problem solving. But at the end of the day, software engineers don't need to know multivariable calculus. And then of course though, this is what's gonna end up happening anyways if you're applying for a software engineering job. You're gonna go on LinkedIn or whatever, find a job listing, and it's probably gonna say, you know, must be pursuing a bachelor's of science in computer science or some other related field right now. And then once you actually, you know, you apply to the job, and then once you pass the basic resume screening, you'll be called in for an interview. And then this interview will end up being something that's probably data structures and algorithms related. And you're gonna be having to, you know, do data structures problems. You're gonna have to implement, you know, something like binary, like traversal on a binary search tree or reversing the link list. You have to do one of those types of problems. And at this point you're like, again, this isn't really helping me on the job. And many other YouTubers have, you know, talked about why this process isn't probably the best uh, for, figuring out who's gonna be a good software engineer, not like Ben Awads who talked about how the coding interview is broken or something like that. Regardless, tech companies or most of the older tech companies continue to do this. They'll still require you to be a CS major that is good at data structures and algorithms to get a job. Again, the problem doesn't lie with the computer science programs themselves. They're great at doing what they should be doing, which is teaching you the fundamentals of computer science and the fundamentals of computing. You'll learn data structures and algorithms. You'll learn, you know, some low level computing. You'll learn things about databases. You'll learn a whole lot about how your computer works, how you as a computer scientist can actually, you know, do new things, come up with new algorithms, implement algorithms. You'll learn time complexity. You'll learn comp a lot of random stuff about computation. You'll learn a lot of math. And all of these are great at really giving you a deeper understanding into the field of computer science, of which software engineer is just a very specific subset, right? You're using a lot of things that you might learn in a CS degree that end up being quite abstract, and you're trying to solidify them into concrete fundamentals that you'll be using as a software engineer. If you're gonna be building a web app using React, you're not going to be thinking, or you probably won't be thinking of, you know, what data structure should I be using right now to make sure that this front end looks as pretty as it does? You might not be thinking about that, but it might be helpful to think about that. And I guess what I've been trying to say in this rant all the time is, stop getting mad for having signed up for a CS degree because you expected to learn software engineering. And you should, you know, I'm not saying stop being mad because you're wrong about being mad. You do have the right to be mad because the industry is forcing you into a position where you have to pay a lot of money for a degree that's not immediately applicable to all your skills. Uh, it, that's not immediately applicable to the industry. And it's kind of like, you know, as cliche as it is to say, it's a piece of paper that says, hey, please, please hire me. And I think that, you know, at, overall, the whole system starting from, you know, kindergarten to getting a job is kind of messed up, right? Like you spend K to 12, 
focusing on being able to get into the best college that you can. Now you spend college grinding so you can get the best internship that you can, so that you can get the best job that you can, so you can then, you know, end up living your life working for a bunch of different companies. And that's how it goes for most people, although a lot of people, and more people every day, have begun to take out, you know, their own ventures. They've started their own startups, and a lot of them failed, the most of them do fail, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter because, you know, they're trying their best to get out. And I guess it doesn't matter because you still need money to eat from somewhere. But CS majors aren't made to make software engineers. And that's what I'm trying to say. You need to learn that you're going to walk in to your first day of a computer science class. And you're going to be like, you know what? Most of the things I learned in this degree will not be useful for me as a software engineer. If I'm going to grad school, they will be useful. But most of the things that I learned will not be useful. And you have to be okay with that fact if you're paying the money that's required for a degree. If you're lucky, you're not paying much. And if you're, you know, like most people, you are going to be paying quite a bit. And at the end of the day, this is something that you're gonna have to come to terms with because, you know, the system's kind of messed up. But at the end of the day, a CS degree is fun. You'll learn a lot of cool things. And you'll just need to remember that CS degrees were not built with creating software engineers in mind, which is unfortunate. Anyways, that's all I have to say. That was my rant. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed and you want to talk more, then join my Discord server. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.